We don't have a choice whether we do social media. The question is, how will we do it? We are now living in a digital world and social media provides a way for people to share ideas, contents, thoughts, and relationships online. According to Matters Research 2014, an average person spends two hours every day on social networking sites like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And that number is increasing year by year. Social media communication tools have profoundly changed our lives, especially in how we communicate with one another and the world around us. To illustrate, you come across the following Type Amen if you love Jesus. Scroll down if you love Satan. A manifestation of fake evangelization. Familiar, right? This has spread throughout the mainstream media and it is useless. Yes, you have the billions of reactors, but in the long run, you, you contributed nothing. Social media evangelism is a new type of evangelism based on Christ's method to mingle with people, wherever they are, meet their needs, sympathize with them, and invite them to follow Jesus. Of course, you cannot expect more or less 1,000 people to take your doctrines, but you can take time to start a small group of people and build a relationship with them. Now, here are some social media discipleship pathways. First, connect. Connect with them through social media. Second, talk. Chat with your online friends and respond relevant messages of hope found in the Bible. Third, share. Post relevant materials that could meet the, your audience need and invite them to visit and explore holistic life through videos and articles. Fourth, meet. See them face to face. In this way, you could build an authentic fellowship with mutual trust and confidence in Jesus. And lastly, fifth, encourage. Encourage them to follow Jesus on the, on the journey to spiritual development. Thereby, this networking, this networking goes beyond digital relationship because these personal relationships will form ones that are necessary in building a community that brings people here to God and hope and build a, a future for hope. This may be a long process, but remember, Great things are not done by impulse, but through a series of small things brought together. So stop being a fake evangelist. Pick up your phone, turn it on, and stop being a digital missionary.